for. We're actually from a small family farm in southern Manitoba, and uh, it was a farm that was uh, failing. The brothers um, begin farm, with an emotional you know, tale. We left the farm about eight years ago and went to Winnipeg. We started a restaurant there, and it's proved to be very successful, and uh, our gross is about a million dollars a year. And we're able to, after the first couple of years, buy back our family farm. And it just shows that we are determined to be successful, that we don't give up. Now they want to make money in the gift card business. We introduced a program that allows us the, the value of more than one merchant to be loaded onto the card. Instead of one gift certificate for one store, the brother's idea, called It's My Card, can be redeemed at multiple outlets. We're here today asking for a half million dollar investment and we're willing to sell a 10% stake of our company. Guys, I hate to destroy the myth out there, but it's already been done, and it's huge right now. We're in the business of that. We also have gift cards across the country. So what, one thing that isn't happening is that people aren't customizing cards. For yeah, instance, if ours I'm is customized to fit us, I can walk into any drugstore in the U.S. where we're going into now, and I can walk in and buy an American Express $50 card, I can buy a $100 card, I can buy a Licenza, I can buy a Boston pizza, I can buy any kind of these cards are on a rack. Yeah, right? but you can't put it on one card. Uh-uh, I want my marketing on my card. I'm sorry, I don't see it on it's, either. It's, Where it's, Lawrence and Jim only see problems. I understand what Jim is saying. Robert and sees opportunities. Guys these guys are saying no to the idea, but they're both saying we're doing it in a big way. So that's right. what I'm hearing. I'm wondering if I can take a lot of small businesses and put them together Absolutely. and create a brand. Absolutely. But With Robert's encouragement, the brothers inch towards a deal. You must think there's a very large market. Tell me, tell me about that. We have certain commission rates that we've determined would be the starting point. Of what are they? Be 5% and 10% for example. Until Kevin finds out they plan to take 10% off the top of every transaction. Are you out of your mind? Well, I mean, are, that's I mean, are you too. really? Do you think I would let you, as a consumer, suck ten points off me on a debit transaction? Are you uncrackable? Well, it's, it's absolutely. All of a sudden, the gift card idea is in serious trouble. That's when the brothers raise the stakes by offering up their family farm. We're willing to sell that to invest in this company. We believe in it so much. You're willing to sell the farm. We're willing to sell the farm. I grew up in a small town called Verdon, Manitoba. Wow. It's a great, great place. When I left there and joined the Mount Police and went on, I'm now in the restaurant business and the whole bunch of other businesses we're involved in. Stay in what you're doing and making money at. Don't sell the family farm for this. I don't think there's a tangible business plan. I'm out. Keep working hard, but I'm out. Okay. Appreciate it. This is a dark and sinister idea. I'm out. By now, even Robert's initial interest has disappeared. I mean, I've tried, I've tried it from this angle, that angle. When the big guys say no, the value proposition better be crystal clear. I'm out. Thank you. Those are the two best guys we've seen with the worst idea. If it comes to it and you need the money, will you sell your family farm? Absolutely. Absolutely. 100% of it. Yeah. We believe in the project so much that uh, we don't feel that it's a big risk. And, um, but these experts, five business guys who've made tons and tons of money, just listened to a long pitch from you guys and said, do not sell your farm. Well, you know, we're not interested in making our millions by the time we're like 55, 60 years old. We're interested in making it while we're young and so that we have the rest of our lives to enjoy it. And there's lots of people that run family farms that never have more than that. We are interested in having more than that.